61A lecture number 10. Announcements. Homework three will be posted soon and it's due on Wednesday. There will be a homework party on Monday evening, but the details of where and when are still to be determined as we wait for campus to allocate us more rooms. There's an optional hog contest, entries for which are due next Wednesday. The composition scores for project one should mostly be assigned this week. You may have received an email already. Let me say a few things about composition scores. First, the purpose of the score is to make sure that you pay attention to the composition of your programs, to try to make your programs easy and clear for other people to read. So the way we evaluate this is we have other people read them and see if they get confused or not. Now these other people are people who had great composition in the past and so they're sharing some of their taste, some of their judgment with you. This is not an exact process, but I think the feedback is very helpful. So that's why we give it to you. It's unusual for your first project to receive a score of three out of three, because there's usually something to learn beyond what you're already doing. And that's fine. In fact, you don't need to worry at all because you will have an opportunity to gain back the points you lose on the first project later in the course just by revising the project. So the point here is that I want you to be able to learn to write a program that other people can understand. The best way I know to teach you that is to have you write one, give you some feedback, and then have you change it. So we'll keep giving you feedback. The revision process only happens for the first project and you can use the ideas that you got from the first project as you're completing the rest of them. Midterm one already happened. I hope you made it. I think we'll have it graded by Friday. Solutions to midterm one will be posted after lecture on Wednesday if you want to take a look. And this weekend, we're going to have a gorilla section on Saturday at two times focused on recursion and maybe a bit of data abstraction, the topic for today. Now, I really recommend Gorilla Sections as a way to get caught up in the course, gain more practice, and just learn to master these concepts. The whole point of a Gorilla Section is to focus on mastery learning, where you really understand the problems that you're solving before you move on to other topics. Now, we're gonna try something new. The first session from 12 to 2 is going to be limited enrollment and designed for people who will participate in the gorilla section and then stick around in order to teach the next wave. So we'll have a small focused group that will get lots of attention from the readers, but who are expected to give back by helping administer the next session. And by the time you finish your first one, You'll have understood the concepts and you can help your peers in the following session understand it as well. So if you think that teaching might be an interesting thing for you to spend time on in the future, I recommend signing up for the early session. And the later session, I hope we will have more capacity than we did last time because in addition to all the lab assistants and readers that we have come to Gorilla Sections, you'll also have some of your peers helping move the process along. More details will be announced on Piazza.